So contour plots let us take the dimension down by one. So we think of 3D objects as collections of 2D curves. So the definition of a contour plot of a function of two variables where we think of a bunch of points that all output the same value of f. Okay, so this is a, a mighty abstract definition. Um, some people call these uh, level curves. So this is the curve where your function is at a particular level k. So I say, when is my curve at zero? Or when is my graph at zero? It gives me one level curve. And I say, when is my function at one? It gives me another level curve. When is it at two? It gives me another level curve. Okay, so let's apply this to uh, the same function that we've been looking at. Okay, so we have a contour plot for squared plus y squared. Okay, so we'll plot this for different values of k until we get a sense of what the, the graph looks like. Why do I plot negative one? Right, I want to plot some negative numbers, see what happens. But the choice of negative one is kind of arbitrary. I could pick negative 10 or negative 100. I pick negative one just as a place to start. Okay, so if I say that this is equal to negative one, observe there's no real values x and y that make this happen. No solutions, so there's nothing to draw. Okay. If I plot when these add up to zero, well, the only way that that could happen is if x and y were both zero. So my first level curve, my level curve for k is equal to zero. It will be this point here. Okay, now I'll pick another value. So that'll be a circle of radius one. I add that to my plot. Oh, 
Oh, here, I should label, I should label that this is the k equals zero guy. So the green is k equals zero, the blue is k equals one. Um, happens at k equals 4. A circle of radius 2. Get something like this. Okay, what this is telling us is that when we cut the 3D graph of this at different heights, all of the curves we obtain are circles. You get a circle of radius zero, circle of radius one, circle of radius two. And once we've spotted this pattern, we can imagine what happens for any value of k. Does this cover vertical view or from above? Yes, yes, totally. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the 3D graphing thing in a moment so we can have a look, but that's totally right, it's viewed from above. I was just going to say that, like, smushing the, the x-axis. Like, uh, same thing that he said. Basically. It's smushing the z-axis. The z-axis. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just want to show a visualization of this, and then we'll call